Hi, and welcome to the 65th episode of the Autoblog Podcast. I'm your host, John Neff, and with me as they are every week is Damon Labyrinth and Alex Nunez. How are you guys doing today? Not bad. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all? Well, we've got uh, some news to get through as we do every week since the auto industry is chock full of stuff going on. And the first thing that I want to touch on is what I think was the biggest news from last week, although it kind of had glossed over. Uh, but it's news that Hyundai is considering a rear-wheel drive car-based pickup, which if Hyundai wants to be a full-line automaker, picks up pickups, trucks are something that it's going to have to address at some point. Um, and the idea behind this new model would be is that it's based on the BH platform, which was introduced underneath the concept, uh, the Genesis concept at the New York Auto Show, which is Hyundai's upcoming uh, luxury car. And there's going to be a lot of models we already know built off this BH platform. There's going to be the Genesis. There's going to be a long wheelbase version of the Genesis. Uh, there's going to be a Kia version of the Genesis. And then finally, there's going to be a rear-wheel drive coupe, which we talked about last week. So this would be potentially the fifth model, uh, which, you know, the, obviously the more models, the merrier, uh, the more uh, cars you can build off one platform, uh, the better economy of scale you have, uh, the more money you're making. Um, so I think it's it's a good idea to address the need for a pickup. Uh, but a lot of commenters had questions and, and concerns over what type of vehicle this car-based pickup would be. Uh, would it be like the Honda Ridgeline, or would it be like uh, the rumored return of the uh, Chevy El Camino uh, that a lot of people think is going to come come back on the uh, the Zeta platform? Uh, so I, I leave it up to you. Which guy, which would you prefer, a Ridgeline truck or or an El Camino like car truck? Alex, I want them to stay out of the whole game altogether. So I'm going to leave this up to you. <laughs> I don't, particularly, I don't particularly care, you know, what they do, like, to be honest. Uh, but I would assume that they would want to go after Honda because that's kind of their MO. Um, so I would guess that it would be a, a, a Ridgeline uh, type of truck. You think it's... Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Damon. You think that they're, really, they're, they're trying to build themselves in the same light as Honda? Because they always seem like kind of a, a group that's trying to pursue uh, a Toyota more than Honda. Yeah, well, I think of the Sonata and stuff like that, which the, I think of Sonata more like a, like an Accord competitor because it kind of looks like an older Accord. Okay, yeah, no, it, looks like an, it looks like a Korean design Accord in the 90s. Yeah, that's that's pretty well, well put. Um, I think in general you can say that they've tried to model themselves after just the Japanese automakers, and by Japanese automakers, I'm making the quote-unquote uh, hand gesture right now. Uh, by, by Japanese automakers, I mean Toyota and Honda. Right. I mean, yeah. they're, they're trying to match their trajectory with that of the, the Japanese. Yeah, no, they're, not trying, they're not trying to mimic Suzuki or something. Um, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know how well a, a Korean company honestly would do with a car-based pickup truck in the United States. And, I mean, look, not, the Subaru Baja, you know, was not exactly the world's uh, hottest-selling uh, vehicle. No. So, but the, the original line, you know, Honda actually sells that, I think, to a reasonable degree. So um, I think that's... You know, I, better model to follow. I actually came prepared uh, to this discussion with some Honda Ridgeline numbers because I knew it would come up. In, in 2006, Honda sold uh, 50,000 units of the Ridgeline, uh, which, uh, as a lot of people will point out, is m much less than what Honda had projected. Um, it, it's enough to keep it going. Um, and, and as we all know, the, the Ridgeline has had a lot of critical success. I mean, the magazines have praised it. Uh, it just gets kind of uh, bashed in, in, in the auto enthusiast community. Well, nobody really uh, considers it a pickup truck, honest, and honest to God, you know, it's like the Hummer H2 pickup. It, it really it well, doesn't have that same, uh, doesn't have the same capacity. It doesn't have the same road road train. It's got a limited it's, towing capacity and all that. Um, it's, well, not, it's not meant to be that kind of pickup. No, it never has been. It's, it's a pickup by Honda, and Honda's never been into big, burly vehicles, so... And, and uh, one should also point out that it is uh, ugly as sin, uh, which certainly I don't think helps sales. Yeah, um, I, I, I think there are far uglier pickup trucks out there right now compared to the original line. No, this one, the original line is right up there. With yeah. The, uh, <laughs> <we're getting beaten laughs> by. You know, come on. Well, let me let me let me go through the points about why I think this is a really good idea by Hyundai, and and, and I'll throw a little caveat at the end 
done. For, for one thing, you look at the ridge line, and the ridge line is basically an all-wheel drive car jacked up off the ground with a big bed. Um, the Hyundai pickup would be based on a rear-wheel drive platform. So, so you're actually having a, 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 an actual trait that it would share with the pickups, you know, being rear-wheel drive um, instead of the, the, an all-wheel drive, you know, kind of. But it's not going to be a box or frame or anything like that, so. No, it'll be a unibody. So what, but it'll be able to tow a little bit more than the ridge line. You know, we're okay. not talking 10,000 pounds, but we're not talking as weak as the ridge line. 5,000, right. So we're talking like um, basically just we're looking for a vehicle that's going to be in between, let's say, you know, uh, F-150 and... Um, Original yeah, yeah. I mean, you're probably looking for something that's that's going to tow what uh, one of the the lambdas uh, from GM would tow. Is that new? Like yeah, or an Outlook. I mean, uh, sure. I mean, people do. People have to tow water skis and snowmobiles. Yeah, and they and buy an F-150 or they buy an X. No, those station. things aren't. They don't need uh, ten thousand pounds towing capacity for that. To tow those but they buy it anyway. <laughs> well, the, some people do. You know, people who have like forty to sure. spend on a pickup. They yeah, do. Sure. <laughs> well, okay. Let, let, let me go on. Yes, first. please. Second of all, you can only get a V6 in the ridge line. A Hyundai pickup based on the V8 mm. platform would most certainly come with an available V8. Uh, Hyundai's new uh, Tau V8, uh, or Dow, I don't quite know how you pronounce it. But anyway, it would have at least 300 horsepower, and Hyundai confirmed that they can actually enlarge the engine even more and get more power out of it. So now you have true rear-wheel drive. Uh, a very large V8, or at least much larger than anything you could get in the ridge line, plus an available V6 probably as well. Um, so already, I think it has traits that would endear itself to the traditional uh, truck buyer. Now, the thing, the caveat I spoke of before is we did this post, and the commenters were, uh, all the comments that were left were people saying, no, don't build a car-based pickup to be like a pickup. Just build something like the El Camino. And, and I go back to what Alex said before. Is, you know, look at the Baja. Look at any modern interpretation of the El Camino. I just don't see it. I don't, don't see that as anything near a volume seller. I see it very niche Can you see um, the HHR? Uh, the Chevy HHR? Oh, I'm sorry, the SSR, excuse me. SSR, yeah, yeah. no. No, I think of that, which yeah. is, you know, just... Uh, I mean, that's just kind of like a trophy car. It's not meant to really do anything. Um, but people are saying that they want these these utes like, like that are sold down in, in Australia, these actual car-based pickups. Um, which, you know, I, 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 I don't see that. I guess I don't see that as being a preferable choice. I would rather have a, 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 a more ridge-like vehicle, a ridge-line-like vehicle that was just better, that looked better, that had more capability. Yeah, well, the difference, some of those utes in Australia are actually useful. Sure. Oh, I'm not it depends, saying. I'm not saying it that. depends on how you how you spec them, but you know you can take. Yeah. Them, you know, I'm like, not saying like a buggy. I'm not saying an El Camino type vehicle wouldn't be useful. I'm just I'm just saying that it's just that that wouldn't be preferable to me. I would want that jacked up feel of a pickup if I if I were buying it for pickup like duties. Um, you know, it, its benefits would be that it would it would ride better than a pickup. Uh, it would probably be lighter. Um, so one would hope that it would handle better because of that and or have better gas mileage. Um, you know, it would potentially have the same type of storage uh, benefits that the ridge line has, like the embedded storage boxes and things like that. Uh, so I think there's, I think Honda produced the ridge line and it was ahead of its time. I think Hyundai could advance the concept and, and make a killing at it. Um, but before we run out of time on this topic, though, I also want to bring out uh, another bit of news that we got uh, along with this from our friends at PickupTruck.com, um, where we get a lot of our pickup news, is that Hyundai is considering a uh, a very small, compact pickup, four-cylinder, front-wheel drive uh, for the market as well, which I think that's a great idea. Well, see, that makes better sense for Hyundai to create. It would make better sense for anybody to create right now because the only vehicle in that segment is the Ford Ranger, which is the most well, the, aged vehicle. Uh, the B2000 right now, right? By Mazda? I think so, yeah. yeah. And, 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 right, you know, if somebody came out with a, a unibody compact pickup that got great mileage, that handled great, and that could tow a, a decent amount, uh, there, there's so much money there. That, that Ford is just, just giving away year after year as, as Ranger sales continue to fall. And, and as far as we know, Ford has nothing in development. 